point of living if you can't take a few chances? It's time to say goodbye to Sandra D and I'll show you how to transform into your inner bad girl. After using foundation on my eyes followed by powder, I'm using a light eyeshadow under my brow bone followed by Bobbi Brown eyeshadow in grey as my transition colour. The shape of the eyeshadow Sandy had in the movie is on the crease and up to the eyebrow on the inner and outer corners. Then I'm using Bobbi Brown in steel following the same shape adding it layer by layer to prevent adding too much on at the time and it ending up looking blotchy. Mix the light eyeshadow with white eyeshadow to highlight further where I'm showing you. I'm using Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in black ink on the lash line with a flick out in the corner. Use white curl liner on your waterline and extend it out at the corner, then outline the bottom lash line using black gel liner, tracking the white and drawing a triangle at the corner which is exactly how they did it in the movie. This is a trick to make the eyes look bigger and catch the eyes of your own Danny Zuko. After curling your lashes use mascara, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex. Add a few layers to make sure they look as full as possible as she didn't use fake lashes in the movie. After moisturizing and priming, I'm using Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation in Ivory and highlighting using Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Alabasta. Then powder. Grease is just the name of the movie and not how your makeup should look. In the 70s, when this movie was made, they used bronzing powder to contour, which gives it more of an orangey tone, so I'm using Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in medium to below my cheekbones and below my jaw. However, I'm using the grey eyeshadow I used earlier as a shadow to make my chin pointier to emulate Olivia Newton-John's face shape. Use a red tone blusher such as NARS Exhibit A. Make sure you brush off the excess color because you don't want it to be too strong. Apply it to the apples of your cheek and fade it out towards the ear. On my eyebrows I'm using a medium brown color, MAC in Lingering, to fill them in. I'm brushing them straight to the side because Olivia Newton-John's eyebrows are very thin. A bad girl must have is a red lip. Use a lip liner such as Red by MAC and draw the lip shape I'm showing you. Then I'm using Chanel Rouge Coco Lipstick in Gabrielle. Moving on to the hair, I'm using heated bender rollers on the crown to make small curls. Then a curling tongue for the rest of the hair. Remove the rollers and separate the hair on the crown gently and brush the rest of your hair using your fingers. Use bobby pins to put your hair into place. Brush up some hair at the side and use a hair slide or pins. Finish with some hairspray and then all that remains is to sew yourself into your pants. Tell me about it, stud. Oh, 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 oh